Hey there folks and welcome to a really cool place here in the Sedona Red Rock country, uh, an interesting location called Devil's Kitchen. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey and let's take a look at this thing and then we'll make some observations and maybe come up with a good explanation for why this interesting geologic feature is here. So here tucked in all these red rock cliffs and interesting landscape is this large pit, this big um, kind of oval shaped depression right here on the landscape. And when you see things like this, you know, there's a lot of different geologic processes that might produce something like this. So you see a, a big crater like this, you might be thinking like a meteorite impact. You could be thinking about volcanic craters. Um, and those are good hypotheses, but those two don't work here. For one, we don't have any volcanic rock or material in this area. This is all cut out of uh, smooth sandstone. That's not the shape of what we typically see with meteorite impact craters. You can see how steep the walls are. In some places, the walls are actually overhanging. As we look down into this crater, it's vertical to overhanging walls. Um, and so we'll talk a little bit about how this pit formed, but first a little bit of historical context. Apparently, this was um, in, 18, in the 1880s, there were some locals that actually heard the collapse. Now, I don't know if that was the first collapse that actually generated the Devil's Kitchen uh, pit here, or if that was um, maybe like, you know, a secondary or maybe even a third collapse. But basically, people came up um, into this area, saw that there was a big pit here. And then fast forward about 100 years later in 1989, this whole northern section collapsed. And you can see all the, the fresh rock fall here, these big angular blocks. You can also see where they're, they've been disjointed and broken free from the sandstone and these predominant sets of fractures, uh, these you know, 60 to 70 degree dipping sets of fractures. And so in 1989, um, this section um, fell. And so it's actually enlarged a bit over what it was originally. So let's uh, take a look here at a diagram I put together that helps explain exactly uh, what we have here. So in the beginning, so here's the stratigraphy of what we have in this area. We have, we are standing in the Schneebly Hill Formation, a lot of the real colorful red sandstones and mudstones here in the Sedona area. Also making up the Sedona town for the most part is the kind of brick red hermit formation. So mainly sandstones and mudstones here. Then we get into the Supai group, which is only exposed in the deepest parts of the canyons nearby. And this is a series of a uh, whole bunch of different rock types, mudstones, sandstones, some conglomerates, a little, bit, a little bit of limestone in there. And this is the unit that actually has the water table, which turns out to be a big part of the process for explaining the Devil's Kitchen. But below the Supai group, and if you know your Grand Canyon stratigraphy, you know this, is the Redwall limestone. And limestones, of course, are soluble. They can be dissolved by groundwater. And so what we have here is a cave that is formed at some point in time in the Redwall limestone. And as this cave is expanded and grown over time, if we go to the next diagram down right here, the cave's actually grown upwards. You can see it actually here cutting up into the Supai group. So the cave's expanded, blocks of the Supai group have fallen and collapsed down into this um, cave, which is below the water table. And then eventually, if we go to my last diagram here at the bottom, that process of collapse continues upwards through the stratigraphy until we get the actual sinkhole we see here today uh, cutting up through the Hermit Formation and a little bit into the Schneebly Hill Formation as well. So there's all this debris that's collapsed down as the you know, support above this material has all been compromised and all slid down. And so this is a collapsed sinkhole, actually no different in many aspects to the sinkholes they have sometimes in Florida or other places where there's a lot of limestone or soluble carbonate rock. Uh, only in this case, the, the top of that cave began about 600 feet down. That's how far down you need to go to get to the Redwall limestone. And then over, you know, who knows how long, hundreds, thousands of years, that cave has actually um, undermined the rocks above it, caused those rocks to collapse to form uh, this pit that we see here 
um, of the Devil's Kitchen. So pretty interesting. Uh, from the air, this thing is, is quite spectacular as well, but a really cool landscape feature um, in the Sedona Red Rock country. And just right off the trail, not too far from a trailhead, pretty easy to come over here and visit. In fact, the Jeep tours bring their Jeeps right up uh, to the, the rim here. Although I don't know if I would do that. That side's pretty, pretty undercut there at the base. So, all right, well, thanks for joining me on this fun little adventure and explanation of the Devil's Kitchen area in the Red Rock country of Sedona, Arizona. Uh, appreciate your support of the channel. Thanks for all you do to continue supporting the geologic education videos I put together and we'll see you next time. Take care.